What's up? We're going to talk about the drum solo. Uh, over the years, in my experience playing in arenas with, um, with a hit kind of rock band, I've noticed that frilly, jazzy type things don't translate as well in an arena of those si uh, that size. Um, I've noticed that some of the simpler fills get the biggest cheers. So I guess every tour I've done and every leg of a tour, I'll change my solo a bit and kind of keep a mental note of what what particular chops and moves will get the biggest response. So over the years, I've just added these things to my solo. I make sure I keep them there, but I try and change it up as much as I can because, you know, we're all, we're all the same drummer all the time, so sometimes we're going to sound like ourselves also. I just can't be a different drummer every tour, unfortunately. I should practice more. Um... Yeah, so I structure it like a song. I try and aim for three or four minutes because so even my favorite drummers, if I go see a drummer do a drum solo and it's 10 plus minutes, I start to you get desensitized. You know, they come out, it's like, oh, there's a groove, oh, cool, there's some cool chops, flashy, and then they build it up, but then if it keeps going and going and going, then you start to go, okay. I like to come out, groove, kind of build it, bring it down into like a section, and then build it to an apex at the end and kind of leave them going, that was awesome. So you want to keep them, you want to, they want to, you want them to come back for more, basically, as opposed to getting bored. So I think you're structuring it like a song, throw in some fancy licks, keep a groove going. You want people's heads doing this? Because that's really, I've asked uh, guitarists and other people, like, what's your favorite part of a drum solo? And it's when... It's so when they just jump into a groove and everyone starts to do this. So. Yeah, and uh, something else I found on this tour is if you can work it into a song, maybe segue it out of a song, right into it, and maybe come back into something, that's cool too. So it kind of catches them off guard. If you use a, Right now I'm using the rhythm for When We Stand Together, and it was the perfect opportunity when it says, and the drum beat carries on at the end. I keep that going at the end of the song, and then that's where I take off and do my thing based on that shuffly kind of rhythm and then move from there. So, yeah, crossovers are good. Lots of double kick is good. You probably see my solos and the spins and stuff like that, but you want to keep it like it's long. Don't make it too long. Have flash, but have some groove in there as well. And just try and smile and enjoy it. And don't drop your stick.